Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to sort of practically use a progress bar in your script. There are some limitations, but there are also ways you can use it efficiently. This tutorial was requested in the Discord server by Adorai Magi, who has recommended some very awesome things in the past. In this tutorial, I'm going to be basically making this simple progress bar script. It has three edit text box, um, and as we move through them, you can see our progress bar is going to start completing and this is going to be sort of a way we can use a progress bar efficiently without having any weird freezing or bugs. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link, try it out for yourself and make modifications if you wish. Follow us there for coding updates in the description as well, follow us on uh, AE Scripts and support us there by buying some of my products and as well follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas like Adorai Magi did today, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Alright, so without further ado, let's just create the script from scratch, it's relatively simple. We have three edit text boxes and a progress bar all within just the same window, no groups from top to bottom, so column orientation. So we're gonna start by creating a window. Uh, bar window is equal to a new window. And I wanna make sure this has syntax highlighting, so I'm going to save this as a JSX file. Now we can have the JavaScript highlighted. So we're gonna have a new window, type palette, and we'll just call this progress bar, undefined size, uh, the orientation of our window, window.orientation, is going to be equal to column, again, so everything goes from top to bottom. Now we're going to need our three edit text box. I'll say var edit text box, or we'll just say edit text one, uh, is equal to our window. We're going to add uh, an edit text box, undefined size, and we'll call this, uh, or we'll have the text inside be empty. Um, then we'll just create... Actually, let's set a size for it. Say edit text one dot characters is equal to four, so it can hold at least four characters. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this twice. We'll have edit text two, replace that. Edit text three, and replace that. Uh, finally, we need this progress bar. So I'll create a variable called progress. Set this equal to our window, and we're going to add an element called progress bar undefined size and empty for the third argument now we'll say window.center and you can see sometimes vs code autocorrects uh, we'll go ahead and cancel that say window.center window.show now we'll go ahead and run this in after effects or whatever app you want you can see we have a nice simple ui set up now all we're going to do is associate our progress bar uh, fill it up to a different value every time we reach a certain part of our UI. Now there are, as I mentioned, some limitations to using progress bars. For example, if you have a script which you want the progress bar to track, say the progress of a render, you won't be able to do that because a script UI gets frozen in the render process. There are a lot of other processes that uh, get frozen or will freeze your progress bar in your UI if you're running script processes in the background. So the best way to use a progress bar is to track UI uh, events and sort of the process of how close you are to being complete with the progress or with the, the workflow of your script. So I want to use an event listener called onActivate. And when we activate each of these text or edit text boxes, I want our progress bar to change. So when I say edit text one dot on activate, we'll set this equal to an anonymous function. And I'm just gonna say alert activated edit text one. Go ahead and save that, run it. When I activate it now, I see I get this alert, which lets me know that I've activated it. And instead of an alert, what we're gonna to wanna to do is change the value of our progress bar. So I'll say progress.value is equal to say 33 or 33%. Uh, progress bar value is anywhere from zero to 100. 
And in this case, we want to represent it by percentages. So now if I save this and run it, if I click on my first progress bar, you can see it goes to 33%. Nothing else happens, so let's add an event listener to the other ones. We'll just copy and paste this uh, on activate function and make sure it's for our edit text two and edit text three. Instead of 33, we'll say 66 and 100. Save this and run it. Now when I click on the first edit text, we go to 33%, second edit text 66, and finally 100. If I go back, you can see it goes back in time or back in progress. And this is a nice way we can simply manage our UI progress. This will give your user a good direction of how close they are to finishing whatever workflow you have built into your UI. This is obviously a simple example, but again, to reiterate, you usually want to use progress bars to track UI elements or UI events rather than the progress of your script running, say, After Effects functions. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on this channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates and AE scripts where you can buy a lot of cool products. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and submit tutorial ideas like Adorai Magi did today. And if you want to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.